Here is the current state of my rear end. <laughs> God, did I just say that? Before I even finish saying it, I have to restate it. I'm back in Quartzsite camping at the LTVA, and this is where I came, I think, not directly after the RTR, but then I camped here for about a week with just, I have, I, I, I have not laughed that hard for a week straight. Like, it, my, my throat, oh, I just saw something hanging in the tree. I'm not distracted. I'm not easily distracted. <clears throat> so I'm back here, and um, maybe I will post a few clips, maybe in the Sunday Funnies, because there was it just some of the stuff was so random. But I want you to see what what it's like sometimes to meet new people and to bond and form really strong connections at a deep level. And it takes more than just a two or three days. Uh, I mean, I'm maintaining these these friendships and going to see some of these people. Um, most of them are gone. One or two were left in the area, and I just was going to camp by myself and get some work done. Because <laughs> there's one thing I've learned, is that um, the, the time that I have, when I give it to the people that I'm sitting, or people having a campfire, or they want to talk or visit, or we're just having fun, I'm not working. So I have to, I think I, I I'm going to, like be with people and then be away from people so I can focus more on the things that are unfolding for me, some of the business um, projects I have going that require creativity and alone time. Because uh, I can't, I can't be, no I can't live normal. I can't s sit around a campfire, get up, do all the fushiwa for four to six hours and then, no, I can't, I can't do it. But I, I've been doing it <laughs> and it's fun. <clears throat> but my work is suffering. We're all suffering, huh? <laughs> no, not suffering. It's just so pretty right now. I don't know what else to say. I think I'm just going to be quiet. You should just hear. I love the Tyson Wash. See all those trees? Uh... That is not the pile of stuff that was outside. That is my mattress. I've got my couch back. This is huge. Look, I have a couch. I'm working on my office. I'm working to get ready for all that power. And it's, it's been interesting because I threw the mattress up top and then I spent two nights on the couch, one out, one in, and I have a lower back pain, so that wasn't gonna work. And then I have cleared out the whole area and, and I've got the mattress right here folded in half. And I'm gonna be able to lay it on the floor tonight and sleep and fold it back up for now. And I still have plenty of space, so I'll try and shoot that. Um, so if anyone, Dawn's question of when is a newbie not a newbie, it's when you can do a complete remodel in your RV. Well, not complete, but I mean, couches and beds are pretty big with a bunch of stuff up top and moving things around without putting one thing outside. I did this in Parker. And it's just beginning, but I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Some of you might have noticed I have some playlist titles, but there's nothing in them because I'm preparing to start to upload the smaller or more specific videos that I've shot for food and nutrition and, you know, the lazy eating and how to throw together some quick, um, well-balanced meals that are great for nomads or even at home. And then um, some other playlists that I can't think of right now. <laughs> They're, they're, I added a lot because I do have a lot of content and uh, just wanted to say hi and and you know tell you that's not the pile the pile is half gone I did laundry that was some of it and then I gave away some and then I'm going to give away some more but 
it was still sort of the some of the stuff that I just kind of threw in and didn't get to go through before I left Texas. But I'm super happy and I don't know. I just had a great week. It was, I don't know, it was really amazing. So I'll see you guys soon and let you know what's going on because I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say I'm going to have power soon because it's just not happening, but it's going to happen. Okay, bye. I know what you're thinking. Why is she wearing that ugly hat? <laughs> because it's hat season. Do you know what hat season is? Well, my hair needs to get done. So I've got lots of hats. I'm not gonna say how many, because I just gave away four. So now I only have a lot less four. It's kind of like that. Did I hug 50 or five people kind of thing. It's that math I do. <laughs> it's my own special math. Anyway, it's hat season. Just get through it. It'll be okay. Here is the current state of my rear end. <laughs> God, did I just say that? Before I even finish saying it, I have to restate it. Okay, cut, start again. Here is the current state of my garage. That's what it is, it's my garage, my open air garage. It's a better word than my rear end. It doesn't look like it's gone down by half, but it has. Half of it's gone. I'll prove it to you. This is my paint tarp. It's canvas. I love it. I do not like plastic. It hasn't rained yet, so I'll throw a tarp over it if it does. I have one ready to go. Things are... I was going to wash it in Parker. They, had a, they didn't have a scrubber, though. It was just a sprayer, and I wanted to get to Quartzsite today. But I'm going to hand wash, not hand wash it, but use my sprayer and just do one section a day. So just do that section, and then the front, and the back. And if I do it one section at a time with my spray bottle. Not my hand sprayer, but my pump sprayer. Then... Got to start somewhere. And got to start with those rims. I rinsed them off with my hands. <laughs> And then I'm going to uh, do some armor all on those new tires up here. And the ugliest part is the part that gets... And I do have some uh, lights to replace, one to replace up there. They all need replacement. That one's cracked. This brings back a lot of good memories. It's such a quiet part of the day. My health is extraordinary. And I haven't been that good with my health. It's the, it's just been extraordinary. That's all I can say. The weather is a big factor, and that's why I did everything I could to get back here.